you must be able to manage the risk. Your credit record, you don't play with your, with your credit record. Your credit score is very crucial. Make sure that you're always on top of your credit score. You need to make sure that somebody is going to pay for it. Any final tips for our viewers at home when it comes to using bank finance to invest in property? Okay, so if you're going to invest with bank finance, you must always make sure that you've done your numbers, you understand what you're doing. And I'm talking from an investor, I'm putting on my investor's hat now, is hat now is to say you need to make sure that somebody's going to pay for it. The bottom line is that somebody you must break even from day one and you must be able to manage the risk in in the sense, like you said, the concentration risk. So if you have a million, rather split it, you can actually do five times leverage on that. If you have to put 200 on each and that in that way, even if the market turns down or even if the prices drops, you still have leverage because that may be like the crisis we're in now. It might happen that certain area is booming, Rosettenville is not booming, Tefontaine is booming. So because you didn't put all your eggs in one basket, you will be able to, when you net off, you might come out in a, in a, in a positive uh, position. So it's very critical that your credit record, you don't play with your, with your credit record. Your credit score is very crucial. Make sure that you're always on top of your credit score. If you have problems paying your, your bond, for example, make sure that you've engaged directly with the bank so that they can give you some grace period. Don't shy away from talking to the bank. Make the bank your best friend. Any problem that you have, you will probably tell your mom or your best friend or whoever that's close to you. In terms of your finances, make the bank or your financier the same kind of person. They always open to hear you out and they will always give you the best solution. Because remember, the bank's intention is not to screw you over, if I should put it that way. The bank's intention is for you to go back and take more money on that same property so that they make money. That's how banks make money. Mm -hmm. So to them, it's the best win-win situation for all if you know, uh, understand what you need to do and the most of the things that you need to do is to just have effective communication with your financier. Why we should not use cash? What are some of the benefits of using bank finance? And um, later on, I want us to look at the creative ways that you can continue to access and reaccess uh, various funds from a financial institution by using your home loan as a vehicle. You predominantly using somebody's money to make money, right? So you go in there and maximum, say you put down 20%. You buy a million rent property, for example. The bank is going to give you that 800,000 rent. So you've used less of your money. You can do more with the excess cash that you have. And therefore, you can be able to grow your financial portfolio better, right? The second thing is interest rate. For example, if the, if the market turns down, right? And like the current market that we're in, if the market is down, what do you do? Your money, your whole money is not tied in. So if you put a million in and you want to get out of this deal, you've got a million and your money will decrease anyway because the, the, the prices are falling. So you've actually lost, which is uh, uh, you know, to the stream, but you've actually lost value on, on that million rent. Whereas if you put in a, a 200,000 or, or 100,000 in that deal, you've got less skin in the game. So even though you feel the pressure, you wouldn't feel it as heavy as you've got a whole million rand in the deal. So that, and also tax benefits. So even if you buy uh, for as a home, a personal home to stay in, there's still tax benefits that you get. Like on, on your property, if you do the finance way, the bank finance way, people like us, while we buy majority of our property for investment, we actually don't have to worry about the interest at all because the borrowed money is not, um, the interest on borrowed money is not taxable. For, so you get the tax deduction on that. And those are the beauty. So that's the thing that you need to look at. It's been a pleasure to be with you this evening. Until then, hoping you're staying home and staying safe.